All right, we're connecting our iPad to a projector. First, we're gonna need a couple of things. Number one is going to be an HDMI adapter for our iPad. Uh, if you're using an iPad Pro or a newer style iPad, it's only gonna have one connection for USB-C. So make sure you get a reliable adapter that has an output for HDMI and has a way to charge your device. Because if you're watching movies or playing games with your iPad connected to your projector and your iPad runs out of battery, then, you know, party's over. So get one of these. There'll be a link down below for a good one. And then next we're going to need to have an HDMI cable. So this is a small HDMI cable that came with the projector that I have. That's um, a Kodak projector. It's only about like 200 and something dollars and it works pretty well. There'll be a link down below. But I would definitely recommend getting a high quality braided HDMI cable that's at least 25 feet long so you don't have to so you could have some space and you're not like right on top of the projector all right so now what we're going to do is we are going to plug in our H, uh, HDMI adapter into our iPad and then I am going to plug in my charger into this adapter so now the iPad is being charged. We don't have to worry about the battery dying. Also keep in mind, make sure that it's charging enough so that it'll be putting more power in than the power that you're taking out because your screen is going to be on the whole time when you're projecting these videos. So just keep that in mind. Some adapters will charge the iPad, but not charge it enough. So it'll last longer, but eventually a little will run out of power, which is not good. All right, now next I'm going to connect my high quality HDMI cable into this port over here. Boom. So now we got HDMI and charging going on with our iPad. Next, we are going to plug in our HDMI cable into our projector. Plug it back in. Now the iPad is connected. You will see a notification that your adapter is connected. Boom, and there we go. The iPad is connected to the projector using HDMI. Sorry if I'm in the dark now because this is not the brightest projector in the world, but I just wanted to show you guys that it works. So there you go, you got your projector connected to your iPad. Now let's talk about some reasons why you would want to do this. Number one, it's just really cool, especially if you have a brighter, more high quality projector. You don't need the room to be 100% dark like the one that I have. And then you could watch movies on a big screen. You could watch Netflix, Hulu. You could watch YouTube videos. Uh, for me, I use it because I'm a DJ, so I like to add in music videos and visualizers while I DJ. And the DJ program that I use, DJ Pro AI, supports video mixing. So it really adds a whole nother element to my set. So if you guys are in any type of entertainment industry or if you're a teacher or something like that, then this will be very helpful. Another thing that is really cool is going to be playing games. So on the iPad from the App Store, you can download some of some great games such as Grand Theft Auto and other games that are console quality games, usually from like PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3. And then if you get one of these Bluetooth controllers, this is an Xbox controller, it works with the iPad and you can wirelessly be playing games on your projector, and it's really cool. Again, also, it's great for watching movies and stuff like that, or maybe doing presentations, uh, such as slideshows and charts and stuff like that if you're using it for business. So there are a whole bunch of different ways, and it's really cool to have your iPad connected to a projector opposed to a TV. Uh, so if you found value in this video, give it a like. Also, subscribe to the channel to find out everything all the cool entertainment stuff you can do with your iPad, such as DJing, games, and movies. And thanks for watching.